Hi, this is Chef Brad, America's Grain Guy with the Wonder Mill Company. You know I'm all about health and nutrition and eating foods that are good for you. One of the problems I found is I love all the grains and I love hot cereal for breakfast and cracked wheat isn't my very favorite and that's pretty much the only one you can find at the grocery store. I love to take grains like kamut and popcorn and rice and blend them together and create my own hot cereal blends that are tasty and nutritious and cook in moments. So I'm going to show you just exactly how easy that is. And that's one of the reasons I love the Wonder Mill. It's great for food storage, for long-term preparation, but for everyday use, it's absolutely wonderful for cracking grains for hot breakfast cereal. So I have four of my favorite grains here, and this makes a fabulous hot cereal. Popcorn, believe it or not, popcorn is not just for popping. It's great when you crack it, it adds an extra dimension and depth to your hot cereal. Pearl barley, high in fiber, so healthy for you. Brown rice, just adds a creaminess and texture to it. And of course, my favorite all time cracked cereal is Kamut. By itself, it's perfect. Mixed with this, it's, it's an excellent combination. Kamut has that wonderful buttery texture. In fact, it's my children's favorite hot cereal that I've ever made them. But when you combine them together, it even gets better. So I'm just gonna take these four grains and dump them in a bowl. And then I'm just gonna mix them up so we get an even crack. And then right underneath here, I have another bowl. I'm gonna just take this mixture, fill my hopper up here with it. And when you mix these, just put them in an airtight container and they store well. If you're worried about it, you can put it in the freezer and they store even better. So now I'm just gonna turn this. In just a minute, I'm gonna have a big bowl of fresh cracked grains to make an excellent hot cereal breakfast. And these cracked grains, you can also add them to your bread to up the nutrition in your bread. So easy, so convenient, and it's gonna really help out in feeding your families a lot healthier. I mixed up my grains, four of them. Popcorn, brown rice, kamut, and pearl barley. Equal portions, mixed them up. I ran them through the, the mill, cracked them, and here we have our beautiful cracked cereal. And it's easy, as easy as this. We're gonna turn our pressure cooker on. Pressure. And we're gonna go three minutes, and we're gonna push start. And then to this, we're gonna add our water. Now. When I grew up, some of the hot cereal, you had to cut it with a knife and fork. I don't like it like that. So I go a four to one ratio. Four cups of water and one cup of cracked cereal. And look at this beautiful, you can see the corn in there and the kamut and the brown rice. It's just all mixed up beautifully. We're gonna stir this up. We're gonna add a pinch of salt. Just get a little bit of salt in there. And just a splash of coconut oil. Coconut oil is very good for you. And not only is it good for you, it tastes great. So we're gonna put just a little splash in there. There we go. We're gonna put our lid on our pressure cooker. Make sure it's down there engaged in pressure and we're gonna forget about it. Now the nice thing about this mill and this pressure cooker is you can put it on the night before you go to bed and you have hot cereal when you wake up in the morning. Now you don't have any excuse to not fix your family a healthy breakfast to start the day. And we'll be right back in one moment and show you the finished result. You know how you're working hard all day long and you wanna look fresh when your family comes home for dinner? Is all you do is just walk up to this, open this up, get right under there, and you get a beautiful facial. And the nice thing about this facial is it makes your skin look great, but you're gonna smell fabulous by the time your husband gets home. He's literally going to eat you up. <laughs> Our hot cereal is now done after three minutes. I've released the pressure. We're gonna take the lid off, and it looks a little watery in there, but you just stir it all up. And it's, oh my goodness, it's just beautiful. And this is how hot cereal should be. It shouldn't be thick. If you like it where you cut it with a knife, just use less water. So now we're just going to ladle this out into a bowl. Oh my goodness, it's so creamy and good. When it's this creamy, you really even 
don't need to add milk because a lot of times the reason we add a milk is to make it creamier. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of agave or coconut sugar. Either one of those are a great choice if you're trying to stay healthy. A little bit of agave on there, some fresh berries, put a little few fresh berries in there. And if you wanted to, you could put just a little bit of milk, your choice on there to just kind of thin it out just a little bit, cool it up a little bit, and here we go. Oh my goodness, the best hot cereal you'll ever eat. This, this doesn't even feel like you're having hot cereal for breakfast. It tastes like you're having dessert for breakfast. What a great way to start today. Mm. Absolutely wonderful. I was kind of surprised when that water started coming out of there. <laughs>